Yes, what's going on? Welcome back to the kingdom, my people. I'm just down here with my brother Luke, my cousin oh. Cairo. We've come to check out CNT Exotics and see what's happening here. It's a new shop. Whereabouts is the shop again? Whereabouts? Yeah. No, I'm saying uh, what? Bovenden, Hertfordshire. Bovenden, Hertfordshire. So you lot will put all of their links and everything in the description. Let's go straight in the shop, see what's happening. Is there some venomous things in there as well? Rear fangs. Mad, let's go. So yeah, we're down here, CNT Exotics down at Bovingdon. What are you saying, my bro? What are we getting out, Josh? So we're getting out a yellowtail Kribo. Yeah, which is what, a, what's one of them? Big Amazonian colubrid, one of the biggest colubrids in what, the world. What, what is a colubrid? So colubrids are the biggest family of snakes okay. in the world. Yeah. So there's loads of different like subfamilies mm -hmm. within that group of snakes. Um, and this is one of the largest examples of that family. Temperament is flighty, generally bitey. Bit bitey. <laughs> when you first go in, they, it's going to be defensive. So yeah, it's going to yeah, come yeah. at you. Yeah. It's going to, you know, fly out of the mouth just, open. Yeah. I'll, once let we get, I'll let you take the stage, man. Once we get it out here, yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Just so you have it, to get it into a little. Give mode. it a little bit of space to calm down. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. You, you should be able to get involved as well. <laughs> All right, we'll see about that. So cool. this is in yeah. the Drymarcon family. The Latin yeah. name's Drymarcon, which means Lord of the Forest. So these are the these are the bad guys of the forest. South American species, and they'll take, in the wild, they'll take venomous snakes, like Bushmasters. What, they will eat them? Yeah. How do they, hand, like, how do they handle that? So they're immune to snake venom. They can also eat cane toads, so they're immune to cane toad poison. And yeah, they'll take a hit off a Bushmaster and be absolutely fine. Have you heard one of these before, Luke? No, I haven't. You're another old? Yeah, Just one of them. support the body weight and quite That's the main thing. There you go. Oh sh! Oh. <laughs> Luckily, I've got jeans on, mate. <laughs> Yo, listen, CNT exotics, yeah. It's happening Yo, already. We're, what, we're, what, we're one deep already, yeah. That was like a that was like a bite. That was serious. Yeah, nah, go on, bro. Sorry about that. It's all good. It's all good. Nah, nah, I'm sweet. I'm sweet. <laughs> that wasn't an aggressive bite either. That nah, was that was just like, like get off, bro. Like to get off. Yeah, that. <laughs> Oh, so these, are, these look quick. Are these, the puffin? these are Amazonian puffin snakes. Do they get big? Really big. Okay. Like three, four meters. Flipping now, man. These are rear fang. They oh, so they are venomous. They're venomous. They have fangs at the back of the mouth. The venom is actually bimodal. So what 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 is that? What is that? In? Which means they have one component in the venom that targets mammals and another component in the venom that targets birds and reptiles. Okay. So what does that so, sort of venom affect us in any way? To be honest, I've had a bite of them. No symptoms. But did they? Did they? They didn't chew. They didn't chew. So is it the chewing that starts deploying? I don't. To be honest, I'm not a hundred percent sure on how much these guys do chew. They obviously they're not kept very often. There's not many people in the UK keeping these. So what? These are a rare species in the it's UK a rare species, right now. And um, yeah, not heaps of research being done. They only discovered the thing about the bimodal venom, I think last year, 2021. And they're not doing it, but they're called puffing snakes because they puff the throat. Okay, what is it almost like a, almost like a cobra or a bit different? No, it's more like- Oh, is it more like a, yeah. a round? They're very chill today. Boa constrictor occidentalis or the Argentine oh, boa. I like so, the coloring, man. Yeah. They're so what, is this a locale or a more- the locality of boa okay. constrictor. So yes. Yeah. 10 subspecies of boa constrictor. And yeah. This is the most widely distributed in South America, but they're also the only boa constrictor subspecies protected by CITES. Oh, so these are protected? Yeah. Okay. So you need paperwork. To have one of these. So do they come with paperwork if you yeah. buy them as well? Absolutely. Okay. So we're over to Madagascar now. This is Madagascan tree boa or Sanzinia. This is Eastern. So there's two different localities. Yep. Easterns and the South, Southwesterns. Mm -hmm. So these, green in colour from the rainforest areas of Madagascar. In the yeah. East. And what, what's that colour of the other ones? The others are brown. Okay. Yellow, so it's, where it's more arid. So they kind of blend different. into their surroundings. What's this here? These are Madagascan ground boas. So, so we went from the tree and now these. Yep. So we're still in Madagascar. This is the largest snake in Madagascar. Seen the head on that. Females up what's to the temperament? Um, what's the temperament like on these? Foodie. Always hungry. So we've only just got the male. We've got two, okay. two big girls. It will be a project. One I'm looking forward to as well. You're looking forward to this yeah. one? Yeah, I've dealt with babies of these before well, and they're, yeah. they're such such cool babies. They're just big, they're like big, chunky, chunky beautiful yeah. babies. That head is massive, bro. Yeah, definitely. It's crazy, isn't it? I don't know why snakes look at you this sort of way, bro. <laughs> they do look at him a funny. They do look at him a funny way, isn't it? Yeah, Luke, I reckon pass it back. <laughs> Hissing. Blop, 
Still yeah. in Madagascar. Still in Madagascar, yeah. Giant Madagascan hog noses. So they are rear fang. These are so, venomous as well. Yeah, they do have a venom. I'm watching this geezer here because he, yeah, he, he, just, he, he just got into like, I don't know, a dangerous mode. Yeah, he's quite feisty. And the venom with these seems to have a little anticoagulant in. So when they bite, it seems to bleed an unusual amount. When they go for you, they come full open mouth. So they go with the fangs. They really try and... Oh, they're trying to get you down. They're trying to get you down, yeah. yeah so they... Can their venom get you down? No, no. it's not about okay. venom. This geezer's just moving. Yeah. Um, that one's all right. That one there, he's on. He, he's having me on edge. Do you want to get the head? <laughs> one second. <laughs> oh. I don't like you. I know they don't like me. I always get tagged by these. Hognose has got the man them on edge out here now. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Is he all right? He's... He's got him, look, he's been standing there like this, yeah, for about five minutes, yeah, like, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, now we got to get him off. Oh, what, is he, is he on uh, the possessive we're, one now? We're, we're, he's trying to get him off with the other hand, and he will turn like... <laughs> oh, my <laughs> day! <laughs> is this a so, Chi Chinese one? Are we in China now? We're in Asia. Oh, we're in Asia? We're in Asia now. So these yeah. are Ridley's cave races, oh. often found deep in caves, hunting bats. Go on, get, get, get right in, my guys. Beauty snake. <laughs> yeah, don't go to him and then try to me Whoa, whoa. Yeah, no, they're, they're, yeah, no, they're ready to tell man off. Yeah, no, seriously. You look better follow CNT Exotics, yeah, because it's, it's really not a joke out here, bro. All right, he's pissed already, look. He's <laughs> fuming. So, red tail racers. Red tail racers, yeah. Still in Asia. Renowned for raiding birds' nests in the wild. Okay, so these eat eggs or little young ones? Yeah, young like, birds. Young birds, yeah. All right, so these are up in the trees. Up in the trees. Yeah, and silver trying. phase as well. Yeah, silver phase and the... So is that like a morph or a mutation? It's... A phase. Okay. Na yeah, naturally yeah. occurring. Naturally occurring. Yeah, why not? Yeah, on, on loop. That is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can get a close. Oh, there he goes, the slow yeah, tongue so flick. Oh, See wow, that? Look. Really cool. He's, a, he's on it, isn't he? He's not messing about. Look at that. You just, yeah. He can see. That's he. Look at the mouth. Hey, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you again. So what, this, is you, this was your old snake? Yeah, this is my one, yeah. Hear the hiss? I know how you work, mate, trust me. I don't think he missed you, Luke. No, I don't think he did, <laughs> but me and him had a rough relationship at times. So what are these? King rat snakes, also known as the stinking goddess, or the Taiwan stink snake, can you smell them? The old guys, these ones there. Oh hey. my days, bro, <laughs> flipping out. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, very, nah, very. put the whole room on edge. You're hearing that, they're very vocal, isn't it? Very vocal, very stinky. It's like it's a smell, isn't it? Very biting. Smell, isn't it? So this is Boiga melanota. So this is not dendrophilia? This is not dendrophilia. Oh, you like that, innit? You see how I covered that, yeah? Yeah, you see how I covered that, yeah? All right. Okay, straight violence. Straight oh, yeah, violence. Straight. So what, now we're in Asia. We're in Asia, this is rear fang. Rear fang venomous. The mangroves of Southeast Asia, the defense threat display of these snakes is incredible. So you get that flattened body, see all the getting, skin in between the scales, open mouth. What? It'll start gape, is, that, is it gonna start gaping? You'll get a gape, you'll get stripes. Right. <laughs> these are Carl's favorites. Yeah, these are my team. So are these in like um, Thailand, places like that? Yeah. Okay. Big bird eaters. Okay. So. Oh no. They will eat eggs as well. They do raid birds' oh, nests. Oh, so, so they do raid birds' yes. nests, yeah? yeah? Do these more found up in the tree, like arboreal, or these more? Yeah, no, these are arboreal. They are, f what, yeah. full full arboreal? Yeah. Okay, cool. They wait for birds to fly past. They would take birds out and sort of mid flight. So would, would we say these that have strong teeth? Yes. And they, she's a chewer, she is. That's why I've got the glove. Oh, so she will try and envenomate you? Oh, 100%. Before you watch the leg, cuz. Are these, do these what what are their eyes like? Good eyesight. They've got very good eyesight. Yeah, yeah good eyesight. Nocturnal, strictly nocturnal. Okay. Yeah, if you go in, in the daytime and they're asleep. Yeah. You can kind of move them while they're still asleep. Is it? And they're fine. As soon as they're awake, they're like this. They're like this. Yeah. We get another one out. We get a dendro out. Straight in the quick. Can I can I just hold that one there? No, I don't want to hold it like that. I just wanna just wanna feel it. Yeah. I've got the head. Yeah, yeah. CNT baby. Yeah, yeah. 
that's sick <laughs> yes so this is another of which one is this so this is Bowiga. some people say dendrophila dendrophila yeah okay. people pronounce it differently okay so this one's the this one's a dendro version yeah. the other one yes yeah, so and the other one a melanota melanota yeah okay so melanota i believe the largest species the mangroves yeah oh sh tony you're right <laughs> Dendrophilia, I am feeling ya. So you're more comfortable with these ones, yeah? Yeah, it's only because so. the melanota, she will bite and chew. At least he will bite and, and, let, and let go. Let go yeah. Dendrophilia, you know what I mean? <laughs> Did I almost get it? Did I almost get it? Did I almost get it? Hey, look. See that man almost got, you get me? <laughs> Don't mess about with dendro. It's hypnotizing me yeah, though. Exactly. It's getting me in the hypnotize. The bowling's done the same thing to me. This one's hypnotizing me, this one, eh? Whoa. That look like a that come like a fishing rod. That one there, bro. Flip it out. Yo. So what are these now? These Obviously are I northern know, northern white lip pythons. So from northern Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea, yeah. Papua New Guinea's got something with these iridescent, isn't it? Papua New Guinea's something's got some in cool the water out, out there. Yeah. Got some very cool snakes. Something's in the water. Out there is just all iridescent, bro. Papua New Guinea. They get to a good size, females, seven, eight feet. Is it? With that temperament. With as well. that temperament. With, with the same temperament. In captivity, do they get to a calm state? I've seen them tame. You've seen them tame, yeah? yeah. And what are they like? They must be beautiful then, like. Beautiful. Yeah. They're not easy to get hold of. Yeah? Well, I've been doing this for 12 years and I've only ever seen two for sale and these two. So you, you didn't miss the opportunity this time? <clears throat> no. White lip pythons. So we don't want her to get tagged again. She's in nah. slap anyway. White lip python. Definitely one of my favourites that we've got. Yeah, on. that's sick. One male, one female. So yeah. you're not going to grow these up and yeah. do your thing? Yeah. Not available? Not available. <laughs> Tony? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Bro, love for that, man. So everybody follow CNT Exotics because as you see, we've got the, the dendrophilia out. We've got the white lip pythons out. We went to, tell us the countries again, bro. We went to South America, yep. over to Madagascar, yep. over to Asia, yep. and then Papua New Guinea. And now we're back in Bovingdon. <laughs> yeah. All right. So listen, everybody, follow CNT. Thank you guys for having me here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and tune into the next one. Let's go.